So we're at Gallery 371, which is on Amor Road, Marrickville. Um, I've always been a big fan of this uh, area, actually. Um, it's funny because like, I grew up, grew up not far from here, and it's sort of pretty cool that's come full circle that I'm, I'm given an opportunity to exhibit in this space. Um, the gallery owner is really helpful with um, giving me advice on how I can display my artwork and just, just the, just the communi community as well. It's, um, there's a lot of um, <clears throat> artists in the, in the local area as well and um, a lot of passers-by and um, yeah, it it's, it's really uh, resonates with um, my line of work. So I've, I've always been a big fan of this gallery. The exhibition is called Sounds Familiar. People might perceive as something familiar such as uh, a tree or, or a human being or an animal or, or, or a house. Um, I tend to perceive it as, a, as forms of sounds and energy and vibrations. I'm inspired by uh, people interactions and my time outdoors. And every time I, I speak to someone or when I'm out in nature, I see, I see, I tend to see things as sounds and vibrations. It's, it's quite uh, raw because I'm trying to paint sounds and how do you paint sounds, right? I think this stage in my career, I think I've sort of achieved that. I grew up around the inner west and I, I kind of been exposed to graffiti and back then wasn't it wasn't called street art, street art back then. It was called graffiti. And I've always um, I've always been intrigued by the style and movement of the spray cans of of these artists that work that work on these pieces. I uh, dabbled a little bit spray cans and trying out different uh, materials, but um, I think um, once once I found my calling um, in terms of um, how I want to be seen as an artist and how my style progressed in time. I think it's, it's, um, it's worked out well. Um, it's, it's, it's an ongoing evolution process for me as well. I'm, 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 I love to learn, I love learning, I love ins being inspired by other artists as well. With, with, my, with my paintings, I feel like um, I, can, I can work with acrylics a little bit better, it flows a little bit more. And um, just in terms of the material that I use, which is plywood, um, I, try, I try and keep, keep it as organic and raw and, and how it is already. <clears throat> like I don't sand it down, I don't smooth it out or anything. So if you look closely at my works, you can see the grainage of, of, um, of, of the timber within the artwork as well. So I wanna, I wanna try and keep, keep the rawness and the, the texture of the, of the timber. And I love, I love working with timber because um, it allows me to, um, to, I think to be a little bit more free. I've worked with canvases obviously, but I feel like just with timber and with how I wanna paint and in my, my style of work, I feel like I can flow a little bit better with wood. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, I just, I lo yeah, I love it. <laughs> Thank you for all your support. It's been a great turnout and I hope you guys enjoyed the exhibition.